Hello, my name is Amy. If you're brand new to this channel, welcome back to another review video. This is the Valentino Rockstud Spike Bag in the small size. Uh, it also comes in a medium and a large and also it comes in a clutch version. I've had this bag for about a year now, I think. I don't know if it's exactly a year or not. I can check back on my records later, but I had asked you guys in my Q&A if you guys wanted an updated review because I had a lot of questions regarding this bag. I have been really into Valentino bags that they've become one of my favorite brands of handbags and that I was even looking to purchase another one and if you do follow me on Instagram you would have already have seen that I have a little a uh, brand new little handbag from Valentino that I started using and have been loving as well I get a lot of questions about storage so for this particular bag all I do is store the chains inside like this uh, so that it doesn't indent the leather. You could also completely remove the strap, uh, the chain inside. This is a long shoulder train. You can completely remove it via this little clasp here, but I don't bother. I just basically tuck it in. Sometimes I don't even do it, but if I'm storing it long term, if I'm not using it for a while, then I'll just tuck it in and close it that way and it's perfectly fine. In addition to this, I also kept the felt material that it came with. The studs over here, it can indent on the leather on the inside which you would probably see a few indents already from just using the bag but during storage, long-term storage, I don't want to further indent it so I make sure to um, protect that area so that area here under the flap is protected and also I leave that extra bit here because I like to just put it on uh, on a surface like this where the studs are not completely sitting on a hard surface if that makes sense there's a little bit of a cushioning with that felt material and of course it sits on inside the dust bag so pretend it's inside the dust bag and I just let it sit like this on a shelf which has been the way I store it I, I don't do a lot I don't even try to stuff it because the small size is a really great size for not slouching and for not deforming as quickly or as easily as the larger sizes so if you go with the medium or the large a lot of times you tend to see the wear and tear or even when people use it in action on Instagram you'll see that the bag itself is kind of sagging and it's also all flattened out almost like a pancake so that can happen with a larger bag but with this smaller size I find that it's perfectly fine plus I pretty much utilize all the space inside so it doesn't flatten out at all. This bag measures about 20 centimeters across, 11 and a half in height, and then in width is about five and a half, and um, it tapers slightly. This size of bag is very comparable to a Chanel mini rectangle, which I will give you a visual right over here. So as you can see, it's very, very similar. Um, I would even go as far as to say that this fits things a little bit easier just because of the mushy leather. That's the type of material and structure that I like about this bag. It's almost like there is just enough structure to stay in its shape uh, because of the size, but it's also flexible enough for um, ease of use if that makes sense. It's very user friendly. This top handle which is completely removable, it has these clips right here. I never remove it because I love having this top handle option. I find that it's really pretty when you just use it as a nighttime, um, like an evening bag to just hold it like this. With the mini rectangle for Ch from Chanel, and I'm going to use it as a comparison, there is not really any way for you to hold it like this unless you add your own chain or unless you you um, attach the chains from the inside so this is a really great feature that I love and that's one of the things that I uh, that really got me into this bag of course you also have the detachable chains so this is another option over here which I also really love so this chain you can bring it to the back I like doing this way so that the straps just sit in the front uh, you get the option of a shoulder carry by doubling it up and it's a very pretty chain. It's like um, it's like jewelry. 
and also you can do a crossbody as well. It is 23 inches when you wear it crossbody or full length like this, and of course when you double it up, then it's half the um, half the uh, the length, which is a perfect shoulder carry. Completely removable. All you need to do is just uh, do this with the little clasp here and it's a very pretty chain you can even use it on another handbag if um, you have a little d-ring like this that's large enough to fit in and of course like i said these straps over here are completely removable as well so it's a great great little bag i find that this size versus the clutch i prefer this only because it fits a little bit more than a clutch Let's talk about the material. So I have the version in Napa lambskin leather. So it's a really beautiful soft leather throughout. Um, it's also lined in leather completely on the inside. On the inside, I do feel that the leather is slightly thicker. So I have the impression that the on the inside, it's actually a calf skin, but don't quote me on it. Um, like I said, it's completely lined in leather as well with a leather pocket over here a leather slip pocket on the inside it says valentino garavani made in italy of course it comes in different other variations there's also uh, i believe there's also a patent leather the metallic leather and there's also uh, most recently i think in the last year i think they also have like full pvc transparent pvc version which i'm not a fan of but it can be it can be a trendy item for some people um, but if you go for the classic lambskin napa leather i think you can't go wrong it's very buttery soft it's been wearing really well um, mind you I this is not my everyday bag so I'm going to talk about that a little bit let's take a good look at the studs as you can see these are the famous rock studs from Valentino and it's all over the bag from the front to the top to the sides to the bottom it's everywhere it's on the strap and they have not fallen out it's still really beautiful uh, I get a lot of questions about whether these studs will scratch my clothes, whether, um, I don't know, somehow they are a nuisance or anything, nothing like that. I, I don't even think about the studs. I think the, maybe the only exception is if you are wearing a, some sort of very fine lace that is easily snagged, then that could be... Um, then you might want to watch out for not rubbing against your clothing constantly but really otherwise it, it really is not even something that I think about it doesn't even bother me it's actually a feature that I really love about this bag it's the studs that actually make this bag if that makes sense and of course all the hardware is in light gold hardware this uh, closure right here which I haven't even taken out all the plastic yet as you can see from the bottom I still have the blue plastic I mean, once it comes off, I'll just take it out, but um, as you can see, all the studs, they're well secured. And I'm sure, I think, I'm pretty sure when I bought it, there was extra spare studs that came with, but I'm pretty sure if, it ever, if you ever had a problem, you can always bring it back to Valentino and see what they can do. I'm sure they have a spare stud that they can used to repair it uh, of course i haven't had to repair mine so that's a good sign the hardware is just can you do you hear that let's just listen to the hardware because the hardware is just so good and it's just one of those locks and closures that you just have such um satisfaction to open and close just like the chanel ones actually so let me just do it It's a it's it's such a good hardware and um, let, no problems on that front. So in terms of material, everything is still really good. In terms of wear and tear of the material, I mean this is lambskin, but I feel like with the studs all over the all over the bag really does help protect the lambskin in a sense. And really the only wear and tear that I see is just a little bit of the creasing of the lambskin, which I think is quite normal because that's how lambskin wears and even on camera you can't even see the creases because it's so micro I have a whole reveal video of this bag when I first bought it last year perhaps if you compare it maybe there is slight 
there is maybe a slight sagging over here as you can see just from um I guess just from having the bag for a while. I do use it more on special occasions such as weddings, uh, nice dinner outs. Um, because I chose it in a navy color, I also try to match it with like a nice blue dress or it goes really well with denim as well. So, And also uh, it goes really well with like a leather jacket because of its edginess with all the studs. So it's definitely not my everyday bag. I. I think maybe on average I use it once per month so it, it's not that often I don't use it that often and therefore the wear and tear I haven't really seen that many there, there's literally nothing to speak about except for maybe the softening softening of the leather on the bottom over here uh, other than that there's really nothing to speak about um, all the edges are perfectly fine so if you look at the edges there's um, there's glazing on it but this glazing is it just feels thick and it feels really well finished. The whole bag is just so, so well made. Like the edges over here, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's just... I'm gonna try as best as I can to show you that there are some creasing, but like I said, this, this type of lambskin, I mean lambskin in general, is it's just so supple and even with the tiniest creases, uh, it just doesn't look bad at all. It just looks like it's part of the bag. You can also use the term patina for lambskin because lambskin tends to age in a way that kind of becomes even nicer as you use it, if that makes any sense. It's just a process that on lambskin, it just looks like a beautiful vintage bag. Uh, in no way is this bag vintage yet, of course. Um, it, like I said, it still looks perfectly fine, just like the day that I bought it, just with the exception of a little bit of sagging over here, but you really cannot tell from afar and only you would know it. Price-wise, this bag is not cheap. Um, even though it is perfectly made and it's uh, there's there's lots of leather inside and out and it, the craftsmanship of this bag is excellent uh, it is not on the cheap side so with the small size it currently retails for 2700 Canadian dollars uh, in US dollars it's just under 2300 dollar if you go with the size up which is the medium which is significantly bigger actually that one is about 35 Canadian, 3,500 Canadian, which is quite up there. And then in US dollars, it's just under 2,900, which is, we're getting in the territory of Chanel prices, right? And I guess that's the debate whether this is worth it or not for some people. I would say if you don't already own a Chanel Mini, because I do consider the Chanel Mini as a classic, um, and of course, I mean, I, I don't really know anybody that doesn't like Chanel bags, uh, then of course save it for your Chanel bag. But if you already have quite a few different iterations of minis uh, from different brands and you just want to try something new or different, or if you're uh, interested in Valentino just in general, I do recommend this bag. I think it's really, really nice. It's really well made, like I said. I I, I have such joy using it and like I said also earlier it's really easy to get in and out of this for some reason because of the softness and suppleness of the leather it's flexible so I quite like it and of course this handle is everything uh, about this bag um, but there is no there it doesn't really have good resale value and the price of it retail wise is quite high so when I bought this one, I did get it from uh, Matches Fashion at a discount. Um, Matches Fashion, as well as all other high-end luxury online stores, uh, a lot of them carry the Rockstead bag. So Essence, Luisa Villaroma, My Teresa, Netta Porte, they all carry um, many different variations of these bags. And I do recommend it buying on sale just because even though I do love this bag and it's an amazing bag, um, I do understand, you know, the concept of keeping its value and in case you do get tired of certain items that you want to let go one day that you don't end up losing as much money. So I totally understand that and of course I bought mine on sale because of that reason. 
pros is that this bag is well made um it, it's very luxurious it's pretty it's edgy it's classic it's such a has so many different options um con is that the price is quite up there uh, of course it is good quality so it, it's kind of worth it in a sense but because these bags or a lot of these bags or a lot of these brands don't don't keep their value so the resale market on these bags are not really good possibly the wear and tear if you're quite rough with your bags and maybe a lambskin bag is not for you this is an evening bag this is an special occasion bag for me so it's not my everyday bag so in terms of wear and tear i feel like it still wears pretty well but because of the nature of the material the soft lambskin if you go with the size up they will wear a bit more they will flatten out like a pancake a little bit more um, but they'll still be beautiful and they'll still be useful and and that's just how it wears this is just the property of this bag um, but i did choose this size you know having known and having seen everyone's handbag being squished when they use it for a while so i i do prefer this size for that reason so that's not to say that i won't consider the size up either because there is something about just the aesthetics of this bag even if it does flatten out a little bit it's not gonna super bother me just because i know that's how it behaves so in a sense even though it is a con it is also kind of the property of this leather and of, of this design as well they didn't make it super structured so that it would be just like a brick so i mean there's there's a lot of good and and the cons is just that whether you are okay with the lambskin flattening out over time and creasing just just because that's how lambskin is right lambskin does patina over time it does sort of age and becomes kind of vintagey looking you can play a bit more tetris with your bag and try to fit a few more things inside this is what i comfortably put inside my bag i don't want to keep on having to look for something on the bottom of the bag so this is uh what i would typically put in a mini bag which is pretty much all my bags so i have my sunglasses sitting on the top usually i would put it in a small dust bag just so that i don't get it scratched but just for the sake of this video i just wanted to show you that it does fit and because of the soft leather it doesn't um it it, it makes it makes that it fits and it doesn't squish it and of course you do have to um choose the type of glasses that you do bring with you uh you can't use one of those that are super bulky obviously so this fits in perfectly on top like that um otherwise i will just have it on top of my head this is just in a pinch i can leave it in the bag and then down in there so let me just show you how the phone fits you see how i'm prying it open this is what i mean by the flexibility of this bag it almost makes this bag a little bit easier to get in and out of uh, compared to a more structured bag so this is something that i really love about it and of course you also have this pocket here which you can use for quick receipts or quick cash folded cash in there it's just super super handy so let's just take out my phone like I said, super easy to get in and out of it because of its flexibility. I love that. And of course, this is a full-size phone. This is a um, uh, 10s Max from iPhone. So this um, pretty much is one of the largest phones on the market. One, one of the longest phones, at least. And then down in there, I have just basically essentials. I have my card holder, which essentially is my wallet. I have all the cards that I need in here. And then I have my key holder. This is quite a large item. You can substitute it with something else. I can also fit my uh, vlogging camera if I really wanted to, but I do have to play a bit of Tetris. Last but not least, I have a bunch of little things. And I find that with mini bags especially, so that's it. There's nothing else. Um, this particular way that the flap just opens doesn't bother me like i said it just creases it just has like micro creases on the leather but this beautiful buttery leather just doesn't even look like it, it doesn't crack or anything it's so smooth and so buttery that it doesn't even matter if you open it all wide like this and so i think that's why they use this leather so that even if you choose the larger size and even if it does get squished um it still looks fine somehow it doesn't look 
ugly, if that makes sense. So that's that. And basically, I like to put little items in a small baggie like this. Something that doesn't take up a lot of space, easy to store just a few small things. So I always have my lip balm and floss and then this is like my favorite bag hanger that I use. This is the Clippa 2 uh, from Amazon. I'll uh, link those down below because I've recommended this bag hanger like many, many different times and um, everybody loves it. Everybody raves about it. I got my whole family to buy a bunch of those, uh, my family from Hong Kong to buy a bunch of those before they left. That's pretty much my review of this bag. I'll do a few mod shots after that. You could also re-watch my first video on this bag when I um, did my first impressions review. It's probably very similar, the things that I just said in this video to the other one. The only difference is that I can talk about wear and tear a little bit of this. Uh, but like I said, I feel like the construction and the material and the way it's designed, it lends to its durability. Um, it, it is lambskin, but this is the one item in lambskin that I'm not afraid to use. I don't even baby it when I use it. Because of all the studs that's kind of protecting it, it's kind of amazing. Of course, I don't go around throwing this bag either, but I just don't feel afraid using it. That's, that's a nice uh, thing to say about it. And really, I think over time, the only wear and tear that you're going to see more of is that it flattens out a little bit, which to me is completely fine because I know about it already. Uh, in terms of hardware, it still looks perfectly fine. Everything is in order. Everything works really fine. I love all the different options and features on this bag. Super well made. It is worth it, especially if you can get it on a bit of a sale. Like I said, check out all the sites. Um, I'll just have them linked down below. Just make sure that you sign up for the newsletters. Uh, the different sites are... Some sites are better for different countries. So I find that as a Canadian, because I do live in Canada, that uh, Matches Fashion, Essence, uh, Louisa Via Roma, Farfetch, uh, those are really, really good because they all include prepaid duty. So you won't be surprised when the thing uh, that you ordered arrives. And if you change your mind, you can still return it and have all your taxes back. My Teresa doesn't do it. I've had uh, purchased things from my Teresa and of course I had to pay extra duty afterwards. It's not really extra, it's just that it's not prepaid and therefore sometimes it can come as a surprise because the amount can be quite a lot. Um, so it really just depends how much of a price difference when you compare it with all the sites. Um, I think in the US, My Teresa, Net a Porte, and uh, what else is there? That's good. Yeah, in the States, I think most sites are actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think my preference um, when I shop in Canada is definitely Matches Fashion Essence because it's Canadian. Um, and I occasionally shop at Farfetch and Luisa Viroma as well. So those are my picks and those are my recommendations. So that's it for this video. I'm going to do a bit of mod shots. I just wanted to show you that there's a couple of stitching on the bag and those are totally fine they are just a way for it to cinch the bag a little bit on top so you see a little bit of a creasing here that's totally normal they just stitch it over here on the sides of the bag just to kind of make it a little bit tapered um, but it doesn't get in the way of opening the bag like I said because the leather is super flexible and it's just a really really nice nice bag if I could get it um, in a lighter color, I would. So that's how much I love this bag. I think it would look really, really nice in a nice blush pink or like a dark beige pink. Um, a light gray color, possibly. Um, this bag just is very attractive in many different colors. Uh, even in the dark color such as this navy blue, it's really, really pretty. Uh, the black is nice too, but I find the black a little bit more harsh than the blue, so I do prefer this for a dark color. Um, a red can possibly be very nice. A white. Or if you're into the logos, they have the VL, Valentino VLTN, I think. The, the whole logo all over the bag, I think. 
um, it, that one possibly just comes in the medium size if I'm not mistaken medium or large I think or both of them um, like I said tons of options My favorite ways of carrying this bag is actually just doubled up as a shoulder bag like this. I just find it really pretty and very comfortable. Uh, but my other favorite way also is just by carrying with the top handle. Like I said, this is one of my favorite features of this bag. Or just as a clutch if I'm taking a photograph. Um, or if I just feel like it, I just feel like this is such a pretty uh inconspicuous way of carrying this bag and it goes with a lot of things and um yeah it's just a really really comfortable wonderful well-made bag and uh if you guys are wondering because i probably will get a lot of questions this is a, a old top that i got from self-portrait studios so really really pretty zippered back they make the same top every season but just in different fabrics and then I'm wearing also a denim skirt from Topshop. And yeah, that's my outfit today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, we'd love to have you back. So please do remember to subscribe. I hope that you all have a great day ahead of you and a great week ahead of you. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.